Welcome back everybody. It is so good to see you all. It has been quite a while. Uh, life has been crazy as it probably is for you. This is killing the lung number eight and I told myself this would be the fastest one yet. So I'll get right to it. Enjoy. In this kiln there's a lot of colored clay. There are some knives in this kiln which I'm actually nearing the end of hopefully. I figured a couple things out. There's some agate wear, there's some Um But it's a short kiln. Should be quick. First things first. Super scrap cup. This one is incredible. I peaked a little bit earlier, but check this out. I took scrap coils of clay, layered them onto a centered cone, and threw it. Look at the foot on this one. That's sick. Typical swirl, the pink burned out, not so great. I refired this one. It's a nice swirled bottom. And now the knives. They're not done yet. I gotta find a way to grind the edge to like the, the ideal sharpness. But if you followed along here and there, Instagram and, and whatever. You've seen most of the process. Yeah, look at that. Can you see the edge? Probably can't. So this is supposed to be like a 22 degree angle, I guess I found out. And then the very end is about like a 40 35 to 45 degree angle for the very edge, which doesn't make sense to me, but I guess it's how it works. Got one knife, two, three. I got four good ones. It's your fire to cone six. This is my own homemade porcelain recipe. For those of you who are new to the channel. Ooh, look at these. Well, it looks better on this side. Hold on. This wide angle lens, crazy. These need final grinding and then a cast handle around the outer edge. So this is an old knife. I just fired, I, I figured I'd fire it. It's actually really hard to photograph knives because of how awkward they are and also film them. There was pink in here. It burned out and the green was brighter initially. I'm having this feeling of like, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a cool feeling. I haven't been on camera in like months. A couple of tests here. It was just a, a, a blade test, same color combo. But this color combo, check this out. It's like molten lava and rock kind of a thing. Simple, simple Narakomi test. 
Moving on. Here's the cone. I got a six and a five in here. Here's the five. Almost perfect. If anybody here is firing a manual cone, you know, and if you if you use witness cones, I started doing this and I've really enjoyed the process of actually logging it in a book. This is a gift from my brother. And I have, you know, my dates for bisque firing, also for like length of elements being used or, you know, wear and tear on elements. But each page has like a clay technique firing, glazing notes. And so I've actually been taking pretty detailed notes. And I actually, I trace the witness cones, which I've enjoyed. So give me a second here. I started this kiln 914 and then I finished it 1030. All right, so this is the top row. So, oh, just trace this real quick. I'm trying to dial in all my firings and figure things out. True story, my last firing before this one that was a glaze turned out funky. As you've been following the channel, I figured out the whole kiln fiasco. Then it turned out that the wire that went back into the plug had also melted between like my fixing it and my second firing. Having cones tipped off the fact that my kiln might not be working properly. And it was right. Only the top and middle element were working. And the work looked funky. I won't do all the notes in front of you guys, but there you go. Witness cone. All right. Here's the witness cone from the shelf below. Also pretty good. A little hotter than the shelf above. Trace that later. I got some more blades with some different color combos. These are just busted ones. I tried a couple of things with them. This was a busted blade. I tried some textural things with it. I tried some different grinding with this one. It's amazing how rich the colors look after the fire. Like, I'm always expecting it, but then when I see it finish, it's like, ah. This one unfortunately broke. This is the other half of it right here. But look at this. I'm just so stoked about these blades. Once I figure it out, I do have one complete one with this kind of lava scape. Oh. Of course it was, it was the one that was better that broke, but look at that. A little bit of yellow on there. This is pretty cool to me. This gets me excited about my work again. That might be it, give me a second. That's it, I told you it'd be a fast kiln, but I have one more thing, and I'm really excited about this. Um, anybody here ever heard of Inktober? It happens during the month of October, and it's usually like a 30 day challenge. I, I don't know if it was started on Instagram or if it was just a thing before then, probably before then. But every day, it was like a, a theme or a, a prompt and you just draw and you you know tag Inktober, whatever, hashtag Inktober. Why isn't there a throw vember? Like throw on the pottery wheel every day. Make some pots, throw some vases, throw some mugs, throw some bowls, throw some plates. Just throw on the wheel, make some pottery. Like every day of November. Throw vember. November, you get it? So that's my idea. I would love to see who else is interested in participating in Throwvember 2020? Let me see what Inktober does. They do each year or just Inktober? Guys, Throwvember isn't an Instagram account yet. It is now. So guys, Throwvember 2020. Make something on the wheel. Throw, mugs, bowls, plates, vases, steins, whatever you want to do on the wheel, secret salt shakers, you make it up. If you're someone incredible like Key West Pottery, make birds, make creatures on the wheel because you're just that good. Make something on the wheel every day of November. I don't have a prompt for you. This is a new idea I had like last week. I'm throwing it out there to you. Throw Vember. My goal is every day I will throw something for my Instagram account at Ceramic Gym. 
For YouTube, it's just a lot to put a video up every single day. And so I might do like a best of the week or a full week, you know, week one, November, week two, week three, a lot of hand gestures. It's kind of like how November works, a lot of hand gestures. Every day on Instagram for the month of November, I challenge you to throw something and post it. Or just in your own time, just throw something every single day. I struggle with that. I get in modes where I make a lot of work and then modes where I kind of stall. Okay, I promise to be quick. That's it. It's so good to see you all. I've missed doing this. I want to do it more. We'll just see. Tennis is over. A little bit of extra time here and there, but life is still crazy, as it probably is for a lot of you at home. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.